I'm Anil Kumar. In this particular video, I am going to discuss how to simplify expressions using distributive property. Let me thank my subscribers who have contributed in giving me this question. The question here is expand and simplify these four expressions. The first one here is three times within bracket x plus 2 times x minus 3 then we have minus 2 times x minus x minus 5 5 times minus p minus 2 times p minus 3 and half times 3 times 2x minus 1 minus 2 times x plus 3 I would like you to pause the video copy these questions right four of them solve and then check with my solution right let's begin with the very first one which is three times and within bracket something the idea is to solve inside out right so the strategy is to solve inside out and always follow the rules that means bracket open should be the first step right so and bracket open should be the first step step here right so as you can see the inside part is x plus 2 times x minus 3 and that's the inside bracket so we'll begin by writing this as expression as equal to 3 square bracket x plus now expand this part using the distributive property right that means we'll multiply x with 2 and also minus 3 by 2 so that gives us 2x plus times minus is minus 2 times 3 is 6 right now you can combine the like terms so we have here 3 times within bracket x plus 2x is 3x minus 6 right now you can open the bracket 3 times 3 is 9x minus 18 do you see that so that becomes a simplified expression so that is how we should be solving them. Now the next one here is minus 2 times within bracket x minus x minus 5. So we'll begin by writing equal to, it's very important, minus 2 within bracket x. Now we have to multiply every term by minus 1. Do you see that? So we'll multiply x by minus 1 and also minus 5 by minus 1 minus 1 times x is minus x minus 1 times minus 5 will be plus minus minus makes it plus 5 correct and now you can simplify this by adding x minus x which is 0 plus 5 right so if you want you can write 0 let me write and then we'll expand minus 2 times 0 is 0 and minus 2 times 5 is minus 10 right so that will be your answer so what you see here is that you can get an expression which may or may not have the variable, right? Let's continue. So we'll write equal to 5 bracket. Within bracket, we'll do this bracket first, right? So copy minus p as such. Multiply each term inside the bracket by minus 2. Minus 2 times p is minus 2p. Minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6 bracket close simplify inside bracket which is 5 times minus p minus 2p is minus 3p plus 6 and now open the bracket minus 15p plus 30 is your solution right here we have involved fractions and two brackets inside but the method is same so we'll continue writing the outside term as such open the brackets so this time we are going to open these two brackets with distributed property multiply by 3 both the terms in the first bracket 3 times 2x will give us 6x minus 3 now here we have minus 2 times x as minus 2x minus 2 times plus 3 is minus 6 right now we can Combine the like terms, 6x minus 2x is 4x, 
minus 3 minus 6 gives us minus 9 and we'll multiply each by half half times 4 is 2x right half of 4 is 2 minus 9 by 2 so you could write this as 4.5 or you could also write this as 2x minus 9 over 2 is it okay both are correct so I hope with this you have learned that whenever you have to apply distributive property and you have a complicated polynomial to begin with, you have to start from the inside terms. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to post questions and if you like, I'll appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.